Perfect. So this is how the brake's gonna come. He has it packaged in a uh, HDX tough tote. And I think it's seven, it says seven gallon capacity. And this is just the front kit gang. And it weighs 38 pounds. So open this up. And boom, packed very well bubble wrap everywhere cardboard man these brakes massive these calipers huge i'm gonna compare them to the ap brake calipers in a minute here both of them are six piston so let's see which one is bigger and which one has the bigger piston also so i'm gonna sit this uh camera up on the tripod all right so now we can take them out because these things are huge i mean they look bigger than the calipers on the X6M gang. I ain't even gonna lie. And I'm gonna go out there and compare them to that as well. Hold on, man. This security camera keep going off because it's motion activated in the front. But I ain't gonna turn it off. We're gonna stay going off. Anyway, so let's get this thing out of here. Ah, damn. I don't know if it's being held down by something, but it's just this head. Oh, no, nah, that thing heavy, gang. Jesus. Shoo. Let me take this off. And make sure that this is only a caliper in here. Yeah, I'm gonna take it out, and then I want to weigh it compared to this caliper here. The AP brake caliper. In no way, shape, or form am I comparing performance of this caliper to the AP, the AP brake caliper because this AP brake caliper will blow this caliper out of the water any day, any time because this caliper is meant for racing and this is a factory style caliper off of a different uh, model. You know, so we definitely not comparing uh, performance with these calipers here. I just want to compare the weight and I can tell right off back that the AP is a hell of a lot lighter than this one. You know, I mean, it's a racing caliper. You want as much, you want as less unsprung weight as possible on the car if you're gonna be racing. So, you know, I mean, it is what it is. Like I say, my X5 is a six cylinder uh, turbo 57, I mean, 4,700 pound SUV, almost 5,000 pound SUV. So it's not gonna be the fastest thing anyways. You know, but when I am going fast, I wanna be able to stop. You know, so let me open this up. Man, it's painted gorgeous too. They come already painted the factory color. So you don't have to paint them or anything like that. So that thing is huge, gang. That is huge. Let me show you the size difference between this and the AP. And it already comes with brakes and the brackets to fit it on the uh on the car but i'm gonna show you the difference in size and both of these are six pistons hold on let me drop the camera a little bit so you guys can see a little better and both of these are six piston calipers gang and this one pretty much swallows the ap brake caliper literally it's huge and it's way heavier and when I say way heavier, I mean way heavier. I'm finna go and get the scale just to see how much heavier. All right, I got the scale a lot. Let's, well, I gotta turn it back on. All right, let's measure the AP. Whew. 
they say this joker weighs 16 pounds. The AP don't even want to pop up on that, on, on the scale. Like, I can't even get a weight to pop up on the AP. So if I was to put, let's say, let me put the brake pads for the AP on here also and see if that changes anything. Well, they in the box, so. Let me see if that changes anything. So I'm gonna turn it back on, gang. Now, this box don't weigh nothing, I'm sure. It's just a little cardboard box. So let me put it on that now. Perfect. So I guess with brakes, with brakes, they weigh about the same thing. That's crazy. Brake, brake pads make that much of a difference. They weigh about the same thing with the brake pads, gang, so that's good. I thought it was a huge difference. I was about to say, damn. But yeah, they weigh about the same with the brake pads, so that's good. So let me get this caliper actually open so you guys can see the quality. And the AP Racing brake pads, I meant calipers had the brackets already on them. So you can see the bracket is on it too. This black bracket here, and this caliper already has the brackets, the brakes, the brake pads and brackets in it as well. Like this is the bracket here. So I'm sure if I take the brake pads and the bracket out of this caliper, it's gonna be a lot lighter as well. So let me take this out. Man, he put like, uh, contact grease on it and everything, man. Like, this dude not playing. Dent Pro Tony all the way for the win. So I'm gonna take them all the way out just to see if it's a huge difference on weight with everything out. And I'm gonna leave the hardware, the brake hardware in. Oh yeah. It's way lighter. Now it's super light. Super light. And look at the, look, look at the paint on that. Yeah, the X5 getting the big boy upgrade, six piston. Now what I wanna do is compare the piston size, the piston size of each, each caliper and piston material. So these look to be steel pistons. And on the AP, the pistons are, I think they're aluminum. And with the AP brakes, I don't know if you can see in there, but you can see the piston starts off small and gets big as it goes up, you know? So it looks about like a, a half inch, one inch, and a one and three quarter or one and a half inch piston on the AP. And the three pistons, the six pistons on this brake caliper are all the same size and they look to be the two, the two inch or one and three quarter. Matter of fact, let me measure that. I'll let you know exactly what it is. It is about one and a half. So these have six one and a half uh, inch pistons. Yeah, but man, that's gorgeous. That's gorgeous. This is gonna look so good on this car, on the X5 gang. I can't wait, I can't wait.
All right, gang, so you've seen the brakes. You know, it's time to get them on the car. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna move the X6M out, pull the X5 in, so we can get these brakes on the car, cause I'm about 1,500 miles, maybe 2,000 miles before the front and rear brakes did uh, need to be done. So I'm gonna go outside, bring the rotors in, tell you I bought the rotors, and links to everything is gonna be down in the description. If you guys wanna do this kit, the links will be down in the, in the description. Uh, I'm also put the link of the, let me take this stuff off here. I'm gonna also put the link of these AP caliper, the, the video for these AP calipers down in the description. And the, the problem I had with these AP calipers is the rotors didn't fit the way I wanted them to fit. Uh, hold on right quick, gang. All right, so these are the AP brakes. Comes with steel braided lines. You know, uh, I mean, they're nice. Really nice. And the only thing, the only problem I had with these AP brakes is I didn't like the way the rotors fit that came with them. You know, so I reached out to a company. Look at that. I'm, I'm all, I almost nicked, nicked the new, the new uh, brake calipers. So uh, I reached out to a company called Paragon Brakes, and they make the two-piece rotors that fits this kit. And uh, I think for the front and rear, I'm gonna put it up right here. The prices for the front and rear, uh, two-piece rotors and brackets. But the thing is, they don't need brackets. For X5, X5, X6, the F15, F16, or the E70, E71, I think these brackets will fit both generations. You know, so for the rotors, Front and rear, it was around, probably around like a, look, a little under, maybe, you know, probably like 13, 1400 for the rotors front and rear, you know, and I was still debating on if I even wanted to do the rear rear calipers on the X5 since it's not gonna be that fast anyways. Maybe around 600, 600 crank horsepower, maybe the same power that the X6M came with from the factory. So it'll be a straight six with the same power as the X X6 X5M. That's what I'm pretty much going for. I'm not trying to go over to the point where I need to build an engine, you know. So that's the reason why I just went with these uh, calipers here, just doing the front, because I don't think I won't even do the rear on that car. I'm definitely doing the rear caliper upgrade on the X6M though. I gotta do that, because that single piston is not gonna work back now. Not with how I'm gonna do that car. So. I will be selling this kit for, for dirt, dirt cheap. If anybody wants this kit, you know, it'll fit the X5, X6, uh, F15, F16, and it comes with six piston calipers in the front, four piston calipers in the rear, stainless steel braided line, hardware, brake pads and everything. And I'm selling everything for 900 ships. I mean, that's giving it away. You know, I paid 13, 1300 plus shipping for everything, gently used. So, you know, 900 ship, one of you lucky subscribers can have it. You know, I ship it for $900, you know, anywhere in the US. So let me know if you guys want that, but let's get the, let's get a good look at these rollers before I get everything uh, put on. And I'm gonna tell you where I bought the rollers from and why I bought, why I went with these rollers. Gang, as you can see, I'm no longer in the latest Auto Lush uh, seasons fashion because the rotors came in and also a couple of the brake parts. So the X5 is getting a complete, well, a I would say a 75% brake upgrade because I'm upgrading the rotors in the front with. Uh, these upgraded six piston calipers thanks to my boy tony i got like i told you guys the link for tony's information is down in the description how you can reach him for the upgrade and for the price can't be beat and the paint is gorgeous and uh i'm also upgrading the rear rotors to match the front rotor so let me show you guys the new upgraded front rotor and this front rotor is usually made for the bmw uh, 2014 and newer BMW 550i GT 
which is made on the seven series platform. So it's way bigger than the five series, but they call it a five series because of the GT, the crossover shape one. So these rotors are a lot bigger than the factory rotors on the 35i. And they're extremely heavy guys. So uh, look at that. This is my new front rotor. And it's huge. So I'm gonna take this out the bag. Uh, whoo, this thing is literally super heavy. And I'm gonna show you my rear factory rotor. Let me drop this camera down so you guys can see the difference between uh, the two. Okay, this is the front there. And the rear, I bought new brake pads and stuff like that. With Tony's kit, if you order it, it comes with the brake pads already in it and the bracket. So you don't have to order anything. All you have to do is order the rotors for the uh, 2014 BMW 550i GT. And this is the stock rear rotor size for the X5. And I just got it in the same Geomet coating and the same drill pattern. So this is the front rotor and the rear rotor. That's a massive difference massive difference but as you guys already know the front rotor takes 75 70 to 75 percent of the braking and the rear rotor takes the rest so this is where you want most of your bite up and i'm gonna flip it up so you guys can see it standing up the difference there so i mean that's a that's a huge difference game but it's gonna look good it's gonna look good that's what i can promise you and when i do upgrade the rear rotor with Tony's rear rotor upgrade get, kit, it comes with a four piston uh, rear caliper. I'm gonna put a picture up right here. It comes with a four piston rear caliper and the rear rotors are off the 50i. So instead of using the 35i X5 X6 rotor, you will use the 50i X5 X6 rotor, which is a little bit bigger than this one. And then the match better with this front one. But like I said, I'm not doing the rear upgrade yet because I've already had these well before I even bought this kit. You know, because my brakes needed to be done. I'm like a couple hundred miles out from my brakes needing to be changed. So, I, I mean, I don't want to risk it. So, when this, when, the, when the brakes are ready to be changed again on the rear, then I will upgrade. You know, this rotor will still be good. You know, I probably just keep it or get rid of it or who knows, but these rotors will still be good from one brake pad life. So uh, then I'll upgrade to the rear piston. But I just wanted you guys to see this. I got the front and rear uh, sensors. And if you guys wanna know how much I paid for these rotors, I paid, I bought them from R1 Concepts. Uh, I'm gonna leave the link for them down in the description. And I think I paid uh, $255 for both rotors with their 25% off. Uh, they had a discount going on, 25% off. I think regular price, it would have been about like three something for both rotors. And these are like good, good rotors. They're directional vented, uh, everything factory spec, and it's high carbon. These are high carbon rotors. It's not those cheap steel rotors. These are high carbon rotors. So these are like some of the best rotors you can buy. And this isn't a paint or anodized finish. This is a Geomet coating. If you research uh, the Geomet coating, it'll tell you exactly what type of coating this is. And it's extreme rust present preventative. So once it wears off on the rotor face, it'll still be on the rotor hat. So we don't have any rust game. So let's get outside and get this, get in the garage, get this car jacked up and get this stuff put on. Yeah.